Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. Today I just wanted to talk to you guys about selecting PVC pipe a little bit. Now when you go and you pick up PVC pipe right here in the US, the type of pipe that I'm using is Schedule 40. And if you look at the pipe you'll find all of these markings on the pipe. Now, whenever I say the diameter of a pipe, say three quarter or one inch or one and a quarter, I'm talking about this number right here. Now this is three quarter schedule 40 pipe. What that means is I've got a little slice of three quarter schedule 40 right here. Now three quarter inches actually refers to the inside diameter, the rough inside diameter. This isn't actually three quarters of an inch on the inside, but it's close. Now if you measured, if you were to actually measure this pipe's outside diameter, it would come to a little over an inch. So if you were to measure a pipe and you were looking at this and you didn't have any of these markings and you measured it, it would be about an inch. Now this is not one inch pipe, this is three quarter inch pipe. The same thing goes with one inch pipe. If you were to measure it, it would come closer to an inch and a quarter, and if you measured inch and a quarter pipe, the outside diameter would be about an inch and a half. So, getting back to this, Schedule 40 is a measure based on the pipe's wall thickness. It changes this depending on the size of the pipe. The larger diameter pipe you have, usually the thicker this wall will be. And you know, it's good to keep in mind that when you go and you look for PVC pipes, a lot of times, especially nowadays for some reason, a lot of stores have started carrying a different grade of pipe or a different um, grading system of pipe. Instead of schedule, which, you know, schedule 40 has kind of been the main standby, you're starting to see a lot of what's called SDR. Now, SDR is a rating that bases the pipes on pressure rather than on um, on wall thickness because if you think about it because this wall is so thick for such a small pipe the pressure rating is very high whereas if you were to make a schedule 40 pipe that was say 8 inches in diameter the pressure rating is very low because the wall is so thin now SDR is which is what this is this is SDR 21 three quarter inch and the rating for this is based on pressure SDR 21 pipes will fit certain certain pressure ratings so the smaller pipes have very thin walls and the larger pipes have very thick walls and that's how that works but when you compare the two side by side you can see that schedule 40 is a lot thicker than the SDR pipe if I stack them together, you'll see that the Schedule 40 pipe is almost double the thickness. If you were to make a bow out of this, it would probably snap or collapse on you, and it would be very low weight, meaning that if you took a bow and made it out of this, and you made one out of this, you could expect half as much weight, if not more, and that's if the bow even survives. Because as you can see here, if I'm pressing on this, I can barely get it to deform with my fingers, if you can see that. If I take the thinner PVC pipe, I can actually crush it between my thumb and forefinger like this. Can you see that? Now, So, you know, you guys just need to be careful when you're out selecting pipe. One good way to check is that you can actually just look at this. This wall thickness should be about an eighth of an inch. Whereas the thinner wall PVC will be about a sixteenth of an inch. So this is an eighth of an inch thick and this is a sixteenth of an inch thick. This pipe, the Schedule 40, 
is good. I use it a lot for the different bows. And then this is actually better suited. If you did buy this, I wouldn't make any bows with it. But it makes very good flutes. So yeah. Uh, the SDR21 pipes make really good flutes just because of the wall thickness. It, it resonates a lot better than Schedule 40. So that's what I would use them for, if you have any. But otherwise, I'd stick to Schedule 40. It's a good all-around pipe. I use it because it's so readily available. Now there's another common schedule called Schedule 80. If you can see, it's thicker than Schedule 40. Now the problem is that here in Hawaii, I can only seem to find it in the start gray version. The start gray version, much like electrical conduit, when it gets heated, it gets very soft and very flexible, which is good. It's less likely to break on you. And in colder environments, this works very well. But it's more likely to deform on you, meaning if you had your bow strung up for a while, it'll lose all of its reflex. It'll stay in that strung shape. Uh, if you leave it in a hot vehicle, or if you leave it out in the hot sun, it will, the limbs will twist or they'll become uneven. And you'll need to actually go back and reheat the limbs and form the limbs back to shape. It doesn't like to hold its shape very well. Now the white pipe is a lot better because it doesn't have any stabilizers or UV blockers in it. Now I'll go over UV resistance later, but you know UV resistance isn't that big of a deal even with the white PVC pipes. But it can be serious if you know it's been out in the sun too long. And just for right now, if you guys look, you'll see here. This pipe was made on March 8th, 2012. This is a fairly new pipe. I like, whenever I go to make a bow, I make sure the pipe is new. Because usually the older the pipe, the longer this has been sitting in some storage yard or something out in the sun. Because the uh, standard is to actually more or less keep this outside. Because it's water resistant, it's corrosion resistant, you save a lot of money storing these pipes if you just keep them outside in the sun and rain because it's not going to hurt it so much you only start seeing a real drop in performance in uh, ability to take you know shock and pressure after about two years of being in the sun and a lot of times pipes that you'll buy brand new from the store I'm, I have a pipe that I bought when I was first making these bows and I purchased it brand new and it was three years old and comparing it to newer pipes you can see that it's a little bit on the yellow side if your pipe is has a yellowish tinge to it typically it's no good it's going to be too brittle and it's probably going to break but you know I just wanted to show you this now here you can see again this is the thin wall pipe and this is the Schedule 40. This is used a lot in cold water for sprinklers and things like this. And from what I've been researching, this is similar to what you know most of my viewers in the UK or in Australia have to work with as far as PVC. And from what I've seen, most of the thicker pipes are of this type of material where there's stabilizers in it. And there's nothing wrong with this. You could still use this and it would be a lot safer than these pipes as this will probably snap or fold on. So just wanted to show that to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.